Hey everyone, quick heads up for watching this video. I am not a car channel or car guru type person. I got a project car, it's a Mustang, and I go ahead and work on it. Uh, but I get a lot of my tips and knowledge and stuff from online articles, videos, etc. I've talked about that in other videos before when I've worked on other stuff um, on my older car, my Ford Focus. And so more or less same process here. Not a car channel, but a car DIY enthusiast. So uh, keep that in mind when you go ahead and watch this. All right, enjoy. So today we're working on a 2004 Ford Mustang New Edge V6. And you can see I already have the setting here set to the third power, because uh, only my third and my fourth sort of like level here for the AC and heater work. When I go to two, it doesn't work. When I go to one, it doesn't work. So today we're gonna be fixing that. I'll show you what I mean right now. So with the car now started, you can see we have the one set right here. We got nothing coming out of the vents. Put on two, still nothing coming right out of the vents. Three, we now have stuff coming out of the vents. And four, we have stuff coming out of the vents. So three and four, good. One and two, not good. We're gonna fix that. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is come over to the passenger side because we're gonna to have to go under the glove compartment. So what you'll need is a blower resistor motor. You can get these at AutoZone. So that's where I got mine. And it's a pretty easy part to fix out. So we're gonna go under here again. We're on the passenger side. We've got the glove compartment right there. It's gonna be a little tricky to see. You gotta squeeze under there, but once you find it, it's pretty straightforward. So come under here and Right there is the blower motor resistor. So you see there's just two bolts. You take those bolts off, you unplug the power connection, take out the old, put in the new. So here you have two eight millimeter bolts that you wanna go ahead and just take off. I'm also using an extender. I think it's about, um, I think it's like a four inch extender. Uh, just makes it a little bit easier to get into. And then once you take this out, it's got this electrical connection right here. They want to pull out too. The tab took me a little bit to pull out because it was pretty rusted on. And so after a lot of wiggling and pulling, it finally came out. All right, so it took a little bit of wiggling, but pretty much this cable has not come off. There's a tab on top of here. Let's see if I can show you. Tab right there. And then I took that tab off, pulled it out and you can see the or slides in right there so right here is the old part you can see it's kind of like rusty and burnt and dusty and decrepit and just terrible looking looks terrible compared to the new part right here nice clean shiny silvery not rusted not decrepit not burnt not dusty so this should fix all our problems all right, so bringing in our new part here. I'm gonna go ahead and connect it. Once again, I just kind of had to wiggle this back and forth, go ahead and, and push it in. The The pins, uh, they did line up, but they just needed to be kind of massaged a little bit. Uh, once I went ahead and did that, wiggled it a little, then I was able to push it all the way in. You just wanna make sure that you push until you hear a click when you go ahead and do it. The whole process from here is pretty much just the reverse of what you did to take it out. I sort of found it easiest to line up the bolt with where it needs to go in and sort of screw it in with my hand a little bit and then follow through with the socket. It's just kind of tricky, you know, since so far away and all those wires, you know, kind of block your access to it. But once you go ahead and get it in place and screw it down, um, you're good to go. It's pretty easy. I think overall this probably took me about 20 minutes. All right, with that new part put in, Low, second, third, fourth, fourth, third, second, yeah, nice and low, and one, very, very, very low.
All right, guys, so that's pretty much how you swap out your blower motor from resistor on a 2004 Mustang New Wedge V6. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. I'll also go ahead and link all the forums and videos that helped me. There weren't too many because it seemed pretty straightforward, but I'll link them down below if you're interested in checking those out as well. Those are the things that I sort of read and watched before I decided to take on this project myself. All in all, you can finish in about, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. It's not too long. Um, and I think the overall estimates were around like $100, $150 for like the job to get done. You can buy the part for like $22, $23 at AutoZone and then do it yourself. Once again, my name is Oswe and I'm in Chicago, the greatest city in the world. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.